Hi guys, this is the fourth video in our calculation trick series and in this video I'm going to tell you how to multiply two numbers by just drawing lines and that is a very easy method you must learn it in very few time. So let's proceed and see an example. Okay. So the example is can you multiply 12 and 13 by just drawing lines? Well, if you know it, you can do it, I know. So, let's see how can we do it, this. We have the numbers 12 and 13. So, what we do is we take digits starting from left hand side and then proceed, okay? So, first of all, we take 1 and draw one line in some orientation, okay? Then, after that, we take the number 2. And then after leaving some space, we draw two more lines. Okay. And uh, after that, we start drawing in opposite orientation, which is for because we have to multiply it, we draw from this side. Okay. So what is the next number? The next number is one. So we draw one line in this orientation. Okay. So after that, the next number is 3. So after leaving some space, we draw 3 line in this orientation. Now the most technical part comes in. And that is, we have to count the number of intersection here. Okay, you got it? For, for counting the intersection, first we have to divide this whole figure into few parts. In this case, we have 3 parts. Okay, and the 3 parts are these parts. We just divide in here, like we just draw a line from here and here and this is the first reason this is the second reason and this is the third reason okay and we count the number of intersections in each of these reasons okay so let's count the number of intersections in this first reason so we have one two three four and five six points here so we write six point six the number six on the ones place digit Okay, after that we count this part which is 3 and 2, 5. So we write 5 here and after that we count this which is 1. So simple, our answer is 156. This is as easy as that, you can see it, okay. So let's proceed to a second question for better understanding. So our second question is this. Okay, we have to calculate the multiplication of 23 and 14. Okay, so we do we have done it the same manner like uh, first we started by, with 2, we draw two lines in this orientation black lines for black numbers and blue lines for blue numbers. Okay, then after leaving some space, we have drawn three lines here because the here is the number 3 and then change the orientation. For 14, we draw one line first, then after leaving some space, we draw four lines. Okay, you can see. Now we divide it into few parts by drawing lines. Okay. So we have divided it into three parts and count the numbers. Here the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 intersection point in the first reason. So we have written 2 here and carry 1. So 1, 2, 12. Okay, because we can accommodate only one digit. So we carry 1 forward. In the second reason, we have 4, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 points. So we write 1 here and carry 1 to the next digit. Okay. And the, in third reason, we have 2 intersection points. So we write 2 here. And then we write the final answer by adding these carries. And which is 322. Okay, I think this method is clear to you. And the uh, most important part of this method is that we can also do it for three digit, three digit numbers. Okay, let's see how we can do this. So this is our question, which is we have to multiply 123 and 212. Okay, see how can we do it. So we draw the same thing. First we draw 
for 123 means one line then after leaving some space two lines then after leaving some space three lines okay then for multiplication we change the orientation then for the number two and two we draw two lines then after leaving some space one line then after leaving some space two lines okay and uh, the most important part here is dividing it into few parts so we are going to divide it into five parts okay because there are you can see one two three four and five five vertical sections so we have to calculate the number of points in each vertical section for that we are going to divide it into five parts so one two three four and five reasons you can see we have some points in first reason then we have some points in second reason then we have some points in third reason and then fourth and fifth okay so after that we calculate the number of intersection points as we have done before so we have four six points here we write six then we have in second reason seven points so we write seven in third reason we have ten points you can see we have ten points so we write zero here and then one carry forward in the fourth reason we have five points we write five in the last reason we have two points so we write two and uh, after adding the carry we will get to the final answer which is two six zero seven six okay I think the matter is clear to you. So this is all for today.